This is a quick guide to using effects and plugins here in Logic Pro for iPad. If you'd like a complete tutorial to get you started with Logic Pro for iPad, check out the video up there and in the description. To add a new effect to a track, select the track and tap on the plugins and effects button. This will display all of the plugins already added to the track. If we scroll to the far right, you'll notice we have this, the add audio effects button. Let's tap on that. Plugins you've recently used will be listed at the top here. All the Logic Pro plugins are listed here and categorized by their type and all of your downloaded AUV3 or audio unit plugins are at the bottom. To add a plugin, just select the category, tap on the plugin, and it's added to your plugin chain. Most plugins have simple controls on the front screen here that you can adjust using the different dials here. If you want a more detailed view, simply double tap on the plugin, tap and drag at the top here, and all of the plugin options will be displayed. To adjust a different plugin, again, just tap on the plugin, double tap, and you have all of the options for that plugin. You can cycle between different plugins by simply tapping at the bottom of the screen and each different plugin will be displayed. To go back to the plugin screen, just hit the back button here in the top left. To delete a plugin in your chain, hit the edit mode by tapping on the pencil icon and then tap on the button in the top right that will remove that plugin. In edit mode, you can also change the order of your plugins by tapping and dragging the plugin to a different location. And to return to your regular view, just tap the edit button again. To access plugin presets, simply double tap on the plugin and then tap here where it says is custom next to the plugin name, the plugin presets library will be displayed here and simply tap on one to select it. You can also get to your presets by tapping the library in the bottom left corner and then tapping on plugin presets. And as you select each different plugin, the different relevant presets will be displayed. Another way to view, add and adjust plugins is in the mixer view. So tap on the mixer icon at the bottom of the screen. Scroll up to the top of the mixer and you'll see that each of your different plugin chains are on each individual track. To adjust a plugin, simply tap on the plugin and it will bring it up in the plugin view above the window. And to close it, just hit the X. To add a new plugin or edit your plugins, once again, we go to the edit mode. This time we tap on the plus button at the top of the mixer to go to setup mode. We can then tap the plus button to add a new plugin in exactly the same way as we did using the other method. We can also delete plugins from this view by tapping on the right side of the plugin and tapping remove. You'll also notice that we can copy, show details, replace the plugin, add a plugin before this plugin and show those presets, which will take us over to the presets library. And once again, to read order your plugins, just tap, drag, and place the plugin in the new location. If you'd like to learn more about creating, mixing, mastering, and releasing your best music using Logic Pro for iPad, check out the other videos linked down in the description, and I'll see you next time.